Hi everyone, welcome back to Imi's Corner. The Word of God in Proverbs 18.22 says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Words are spirit and life and they have power for continuity from generation to generation except you stop them. The world came by the power of the word and you can make your world to be what you want it to be by your word. My prayer for you even as you watch this video is that every evil pronouncement, negative word, curse is spoken over your life, family, over your children is revoked and nullified in Jesus' name, Amen. Please, make sure you pray along with us. Thank you. Is this Manconia a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed and are cast into the land which they know not? O earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Write ye this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. Jeremiah 22 28-30 Five years ago, I moved into this house with my husband and my son and today, I am leaving here on my own. I lost my husband and my son in this house and I've become a widow, a lonely and a bitter woman. As I leave this house today, I place a curse on this land and anyone that will live here. Because this house has brought me pains, tears, turmoil and bitterness. O oh, earth, earth, earth hear me today. What happened to me will happen to everyone that will live here. I curse this land and this house. Because I didn't have peace here, no occupant of this house will ever have peace. Because, I lost my husband and my son here, every occupant will go through the same experience and also leave here a widow. I speak to the sun, the stars and the moon and declare and decree that this curse shall stand. No one will be able to live in this house. As I walk out of here in sorrows, so shall everyone that stays here walk out in sorrows. This land remained cursed forever. Because the owner of this land had a hand in my husband's death, I curse this land today and forever. And so shall it remain. Madam, this is the house that I told you about. You can see that the house is fine and very good for that price. Mr. Agent, I like the location of the house and since I have young kids. This is the best so far out of all the houses that you've shown me. I told you that you will like this one. The house is so fine and it's situated in a good environment and estate. Let me call my husband and inform him so that he can come over and see the house. Babe, are you with the agent? Yes. This one he showed me is better and it still looks new. Let's go for this one. I like to see the house before making payment. Have you asked around? It's important to ask the people around about the house too. Agent will only tell you good things because they're doing their job, but we need to know how the place will be during fall. That's true, but you'll have to see it soon before someone else will take it. I'll be there as soon as I close. The house is actually nice, but there's darkness hovering around this place. If you're sensitive in the spirit, you'll see and feel it. You've come again. Every good house that we've seen, you will always see something spiritually. I let go of the other ones, because I didn't like them but you see this one, I'll not let go of it. If you like it then we can stay here. It's not a big deal. It's just to speak the word of God here and pray and darkness will disappear. John 1, 4 and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. As children of light, as soon as we step into a place, darkness doesn't have any option but to disappear. You can call the agent and tell him that we will take the house, but we need to pray seriously here. We need to nullify every evil pronouncement, curses and predictions that was made here. I see a woman crying bitterly here. Good evening Martins. What are you doing in my estate? Evening my brother. So, you live here? Yes. What are you doing here? You know my landlord sold his house and we were given three weeks to move out. My wife saw this apartment so I came to see it. Which of the apartment? Because there is only one vacant apartment in this estate? It's that one. Will you be able? 
I heard a scary story about that apartment that's why it has been vacant for some months now after the last person moved out. What did you hear? They said the owner of that house was a very bad man. He was in a cult and anyone that stays there faced serious battle. The former occupant of that apartment died mysteriously and few months later, the son died. So the wife was angry and placed the curse on that apartment. She made evil pronouncement and predictions on that land. After she moved out, the same thing happened to the new occupant so since then, people that know the story refused to stay in that apartment. The landlord is now late, so the children renovated it and rented it out. The new tenant packed out few months later because she almost lost her husband. I know it's cheap but you can't live there. No wonder. I knew that something was wrong. You know what? I'll take the house. I know what to do before I move in. I know you're an intercessor, but aren't you worried about yourself and your family? Babe, we can't stay here. Didn't you hear what your friend just said? I heard him. The woman made some evil pronouncement and placed the curse on the land and anyone that will occupy it. She spoke a word out of bitterness and they'll also use the word to nullify it. And guess what? In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. In him was life and the life was the light of men. John 1, 1-3 Deuteronomy 23, 5 But the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing unto thee because the Lord thy God loved thee. Ever a curse will be turned into blessing as we step in and dedicate this land to God. Call the agent and tell him that we will meet at the law firm so that we can proceed with the payment. Okay, but are you sure? The Lord is my light and my salvation, so why should I be afraid? A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near us. Because we have made the Lord our refuge and even the Most High, our habitation. There shall no evil befall us, neither shall any plague come nigh our dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us, to keep us in all our ways. Psalm 91. Amen. Father, thank you for this place that you've given to us. Thank you for the power of your word that supersedes all other words. We dedicate this land and this house unto you. Your word in Joshua 1, 3 says that every place that the sole of my feet shall tread upon, that you have given it unto me. Because we have stepped into this place, we take over and dedicate it to Jesus Christ. O earth, earth, according to the word of God in Jeremiah 22:29. Hear the word of the Lord. We terminate the power of every curse, inherited, generational or self-caused fighting against our progress. We terminate and nullify every evil pronouncement made upon this house. According to the word of God in Isaiah 7, 7, It shall not stand neither shall it come to pass. Who is he that saith and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? Lamentations 3.37 because the Lord had not commanded it, I stand by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ and cancel every curses, evil pronouncement and projections made against me and my family. I withdraw every part of my life from the siege of evil pronouncement and predictions. I revoke and nullify every evil words spoken into the sun, moon and star yo besiege my season of prosperity by the blood of Jesus Christ. I break the power of evil predictions fastened into our lives from the womb, infancy, childhood or adolescence to stagnate us. Father, turn every curses into blessings. According to your word in Deuteronomy 23, 5, my Father, my Maker. Turn every curses into blessings in Jesus' name. I blot out and destroy by the blood of Jesus Christ, the record in archives of evil pronouncement or false prophecy hindering our breakthrough. I revoke and nullify every negative word spoken into the earth to make me barren or stagnant. My head, reject every word of misfortune, failure and stagnation. I break the power of every negative pronouncement and cancel every satanic pronouncement or verdict released to truncate our destinies. Blood of Jesus Christ, blot out every evil pronouncement assigned to cage our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every negative word that we spoke in annoyance or carelessly that has ensnared us from fulfilling our purpose be terminated in Jesus' name. 
for you have delivered us from the power of darkness, and translated us into the kingdom of your dear Son. Colossians 1.13 Therefore we are free. We blot out every handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us and because you took it out of the way by nailing it to the cross. Colossians 2.14 Therefore we are victorious, and we triumph over every evil pronouncement and negative predictions. Blood of Jesus Christ, blood of Jesus Christ, begin to speak for me and my family throughout our stay in this house. Thank you Lord for answered prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Excuse me Ma, why are you crying here? Can you move out of my compound? You're disturbing me. Why did you come here? You've nullified my words but my heart is still bitter. I don't know what happened and why your spirit is still restless, but you have no place in this place, because I am living here. Light has no business with darkness therefore I command you to pack your load and go. I stand on the word of God in Psalm 124, 7 that says that our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and decree and declare that I and my family are free from every negative pronouncement and I command you to leave here right now. From today, do not trouble us again for we bear in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus name. Now, begin to go. Move and never come back. She is gone. I could no longer see her. Thank you Jesus. What happened? I had a dream but thank God for giving us victory. You can go back to bed, I'll just pray a little. Father, thank you for always fighting our battles. Let your mercy continue to speak for us. By your mercy, I reject every evil pronouncement and manipulation of the enemy in all areas of my life. Let the blood of Jesus Christ neutralize every curse of impossibility issued against me in the name of Jesus. I will not be diverted from the path of blessings by the reason of evil pronouncement in the name of Jesus. Father, withdraw every access the enemy has to my life through evil pronouncement in the name of Jesus. Mercy of God, separate me and my family from every evil pronouncement of ancestral curses of untimely death and financial handicap in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree by the reason of the anointing upon my life, I cancel every evil word spoken against me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every negative voice of the enemy speaking against the plans of God for my destiny, be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover my deliverance with the blood of Jesus Christ, I cover this apartment with the blood of Jesus Christ. Angels of God, be on guard and as from tonight, let no man trouble us for we near in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord for answered prayers in Jesus name, Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I pray for you, that is from today, you will move forward, you shall blossom and flourish. You shall fulfill your destiny and you'll be celebrated where others are rejected. No more miscarriage, no more stagnation and no more delay. I nullify every evil and negative pronouncement over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please, be a blessing to others by sharing this video with a friend. Thank you and stay blessed.